So software is something that a lot of people don't really understand. When, when you say, or, or when people are saying, you know, I'm using the computer, they think about the actual, you know, the mouse, the keyboard, the screen, what they're looking at. But in reality, what you're interacting with is software. If you think about it, hardware without software is just, you know, it's just a physical thing that doesn't do anything. Software is what runs and what creates, you know, the experience of using a computer. The software is the experience of using a computer, you know. It defines what's possible in sort of the virtual world. The, the idea for everybody's Google sort of um, is something I've been thinking about for a few years. And it sort of hit me, you know, when I came to realize that Google personalizes search results. And basically what that means to me is that it's presenting a different sort of view of the world to each individual user. So it tries to personalize and, and place um, what it thinks is relevant to you higher up in the search results. So based upon your previous browsing history um, and even your previous sort of web surfing behavior, it will alter the results from individual to individual. I made four separate Google user accounts or Gmail accounts and what I'm doing is programmatically logging in to their accounts and browsing the web. Um, and what that's doing is sort of seeding and feeding and helping Google create this user model um, about these four personas, about these four accounts, and then using that in its personalization algorithms when you do things like perform a search or like look up Google News or visit YouTube even. Because uh, well, I saw it had the online website, I decided to just do my own search, but I just took out my phone and just found a website online. So what everybody's Google does is it exposes that sort of process of personalization. Show. The first is called Web Pages for Humans, which is a series of prints um, where I've taken I've taken um, screenshots of web pages and replaced a lot of the text with captified text is what I'm calling it. And what that is is basically I'm um, I'm running an algorithm over the text that distorts it to a point where computers can't interpret it. They can't read it either either directly or through um, OCR algorithms, which are optical character recognitions. Um, so what the prints are doing is really taking something that that either was digital or, or was physical and transformed into a digital uh, document and sort of um, reclaiming it in a sense and presenting it in, back in its physical form.